Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another American Truck Simulator right now, man. It's been a while. I decided to use like a different profile, but it's been a while since we touched we touch American Truck Simulator. So this is going to be part of our throwback Thursday today. Um, th we got a new map, the Oregon map and stuff like that. New DLCs and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how everything is going to turn out. But right now, let's start driving. And yes, I am using my regular controller. I know for once, right? I've been using the wheel for so long, man. Let me see if I can actually come out. I am clear. Please don't hit me. Yo, the sensitivity for this thing is pretty crazy. Wait, why is it going that way? Okay, guys. After trying everything that I can, I finally got it working. Yeah, I can't believe that's how it was though. Oh shoot, where's my did I No, that's not it. Okay, now nah, that's it. Okay, there you go. I got everything working. We are back in business. Welcome back to another American truck simulator. It's been a while since I did this too. Um I mean due to the um they have some new upgrades to like so much stuff now, man. I feel like I'll I got left behind with American Truck Simulator so bad, man. But just like you guys been asking, this is probably the only game I'm going to follow, like all traffic rules and stuff. We'll try our best not to volley any law right now. And this is going to be a long drive. But as far as driving, um, what are you guys all up to today, man? Go back Thursday, of course. I was trying to bring back um, like an old game or something. I mean, at the end of the day, American Truck Simulator can never be like an all game, man. As long as you know what I'm, I need, either I'm going to get a new will. Or I'm going to try to contact this company and find out if they can actually um, send me an adapter. Oh, shoot. We got the police over here too. send me an adapter for this will that I'm using right now. Wait, did I add all these mods like the road cars and stuff like that? I don't remember. I probably have like so much mod. Tell me a game that I haven't like mod yet. We, you saw the Tesla. I don't want to get a ticket by this cop right now, too. I have no idea. Oh, the speed limit is 72. That's okay for me. Oh, okay. Kilometer, of course. As long as I'm not speeding past him. That was a yellow light. Can I cut him? Man, I'll be that guy that just cut an officer for real though. All right, he's like right behind me, so I'm not taking this light. <laughs> but um, as far as modding, guys, um, I guess depends if it's GTA, if it's this or whatever. Now, if you have a decent PC, I feel like these games you should definitely um be able to enjoy all these games, of course. Now. The question that I always get is, uh, I mean, the question that I always get is, what if I don't know how to build a PC, or what if I don't know anything about computers and stuff like that? Is a, you know what? It's about the time to learn. And you have multiple companies that will build you a PC. Depends on what you need. Um, as far as what you need, um, as far as GTA, you need at least an i5. At least an i5. But most guys that usually record go for like the, you know either the i7 or the um i the new i9. I mean you don't have to kill yourself with all the go all the way up to like an i9 or anything like that because it's it's I mean I feel like yes it's good but remember there's certain things that are still not optimized when it comes to that so you're not really gonna be using all your core or um GTA just not you know what sometimes GTA just just won't work properly. Like it takes me so long. Like I'm using an i7. I think is I still have the 6950X. And when I say this thing still struggle, I mean that is only if I don't have no mods in the game. This is a beast. This is an overkill. But if I do have mods in the game, forget it. This thing struggle. <laughs> this is why you guys also see me with two 1080 Ti's, which is what I've been using, of course. And I don't know. It's been it's been working. I'm tailgating right now like crazy. I'm gonna pass him. 
but this is not a good spot to pass right now. I'll take my time. So right now I'm doing a pickup, guys. I am in Oregon, of course. I'm doing a pickup. Come on. I hate when I can't pass somebody that fast. Come on. All right, I got to get back. There you go. Now, would you guys take a road trip like that, though? Would you guys take a road trip with me like that? That would be pretty cool. Road trip. All of us in the van. <laughs> nah, I would need a bus because <laughs> I know a couple of you guys would just yo, let's go, man, let's go. But um, on 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 that note too, man, we might have to do a meetup for um, I don't know which one you guys are gonna be attending, but either Pax East, Pax South, one of those. We we need to do a meetup, man, because I I might just fly over there just to meet some of you guys, of course. Last time I didn't set up anything, so I didn't get to see nobody. Period. Like nobody didn't know that I was gonna be at PAX or anything. I mean, I did give the some some shout out or I'll let you guys know early, but I don't know. I don't know what happened in the process. I know this is crazy what I'm about to do, but is it worth it? Nope. We got a truck coming. This feels so weird because I'm not driving. I'm not driving with the wheel. It just feels so weird. I feel like this is going to be a long trip after all. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to Burns right now to pick up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to change anything. No, 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 no. We still going right there. Yeah, so we're going to go pick this up. Of course, let's delete this. Um, we're going to go pick this thing up and then we're going to have to drive it back, of course. So let's see how that's going to turn out. This felt like a long drive and we got to drive right back, though. That was a nice road trip when it comes to American Truck Simulator. Um, now, do I know that much about trucks? Not really. Can I handle a truck? Yes. Did I get my license for a truck? Nope. Haven't. Um, I, I guess I didn't need to because I never. Um, since my last job, since I didn't have a license anymore, especially after working for FedEx, I just gave up on that. I mean, I can always get the license. I know you probably go through the process the same way again. Yes, I will definitely go for that. Let me just pass this guy. I'm in a hurry, son. You better move out my way, son. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, but for you to be for you to play American Truck Simulator, you got to be patient or you got to be you definitely got to be into simulator. So like because I've seen people going into games like that, not understanding like yo, what do you have to do? It's really up to you. If you enjoy driving, this is the game for you. If you enjoy driving with the wheel, this is definitely the game for you, of course. And it's crazy how sometimes when I'm playing a American Truck Simulator like that, People would just come up and say, what game is this? Oh, I never seen this before. I mean, you know what? It is what it is. There's certain games that I haven't seen before or never played before either. So I understand. But when it comes to car games, I don't know, man, it's something different. But um, on that GTA note, though, what do you guys think um, they're going to do for GTA 6? Like it look, it look promising already. I already know Rockstar is definitely gonna put, put in work. But the only thing is, we have no choice but to wait. We have no choice but to wait. But I don't know. I still haven't seen no sneak peek of anything. So it seems like Rockstar is just promoting the hell out of um, Red Dead right now. Once they are done with Red Dead, I'm expecting, I'm expecting some GTA 6. I'm definitely expecting some GTA 6 and I know it's going to be it's, it's definitely going to be on point. Wait, I didn't even check. Oh, I'm on I'm on a full tank right now. Oh, I say I didn't even check my my tank, man. Picking up this thing, you know, we should be all set. Yes, I am I am speedy Gonzalez right now. Now, only if those those mod that I get We'll actually show the mirrors like this. That will be that will definitely complete GTA. You know, we see like when you're doing first person in GTA, it show you the 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 um the ground and everything, but it just don't show you the actual vehicle and stuff like that. But it is what it is, man. 
Is that the Oregon State Police? I see them. Oh, better slow down. Better slow down. <laughs> oh man. All right, as long as I clear them, I'm good. Oh, we just missed our turn. I was watching the cop back there. It was all my fault. But what are you guys doing for Christmas? We doing that giveaway, man. We doing the giveaway. I want to give you guys some Xbox. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to be able to find a Spider-Man because I know a bunch of you guys were requesting the Spider-Man one. Wait, can I turn on my lights? I forgot which one is lights again. OK, there you go. Yeah, I need my lights, man. All right. Whoa, whoa. No, nah, man. That was kind of my fault, though. My truck just stopped. Come on, man. It ain't look like a road. This thing didn't even look like a road, man. We're trying our best. Let me see which one that I usually. Yo, that looked like G the, the regular GTA. GTA 2 or something like that. All right, so we here. I'm guessing that place is right down there. Let's get back to our regular view, of course. I guess nobody come this way. This is some kind of off-roading. What the hell is this? Where am I? Where am I? I mean, if I if I didn't know where I was like exactly in Oregon, I would say, "Yo, this looked like the Carolinas, man." Like I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. All right, so oh, the pickup is here, of course, but let's see where this thing is at. Now we're gonna have to drive it all the way back. All right, let's go. Wait, I got my pickup already. Wait, which one was it? I could do another one, actually. All right, since we had to drive all the way over here, let me actually take this one instead. I'll take this job. We won't have to like head exactly back the same way we just came from. But as far as you guys can see, I mean, the map looked great. Wait, we can actually change settings for this thing. Wow. Okay. I want to see this. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't want to pick the second one. No, I know the GPS did set for this one, but I'm going to set for this one right here. And let's take this job instead. I was right there. All right. Easy. I remember the first time I had the park in here. I had to like back up the trailer and stuff like that. That was funny. You guys can actually see some of our drunk night episodes. Remember when we used to do a drunk night, guys? That's crazy. Trying to do the job with um, copper in them. That's crazy. I think we drove with BX bugs. Is that it? I didn't park that good. I thought I was I was right on point. Come on, just tell me to press C already. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's see this bad boy. Damn. That thing is mad. You know what? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. All right, this is it. Take a quick picture. This thing usually freeze up when we do that. All right, let's go. Let's do this. My truck, man. My truck gonna be able to handle this, and we should be all set. 
All right. And also, guys, I think I'll be in New York for the holidays. I know some of you guys. I mean, I you know, I'm just going to try to enjoy the, the the quick vacay, of course. Um, of course, spending time with with my family, of course. So you guys already know, man, by that time, you guys should have plenty of videos to watch. Of course, I always make sure that I set you guys up. But the only thing is I was trying to finish the giveaway before Christmas, but it looked like it's not going to happen. Today's already Thursday, man. Definitely not going to happen. Yo, this road is kind of crazy right now. Really bumpy road. Oh, OK. OK, you guys didn't see that. I got to make this turn. All right. Damn, why well, can't go the other way? All right, we're going to come this way. This is really scary. Wait, how you turn on? Wait, 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 wait. I feel like such a rookie when it comes to American Truck Simulator still. Let me see if I can actually turn it on. No. All right, this is the regular light. The flash. No. No, I didn't want to do that. Of course, I'm pressing like almost every key right now. I know it's one of y'all. No. All right, just not working for me, but it is what it is. We got to make this turn. Nobody's coming. Hopefully I'm gonna clear this. Can't really hit anything. Oh the sign, the sign. Alright, I cleared it. Oh, you just turn off like that? Yo, the way they have the controller set up is so weird. What is this? Oh, that's to change the view. All right, I see. Man, I need my will back. <laughs> yeah, you see, I didn't want to see the map. I guess I'm just learning about the controller too. All right, guys, back to it. Back to story time. Yeah, so um, not story time really, but as far as I can't wait to get to New York, you should unlock the furniture. All right, I'm pressing V. All right, got you. Actually, I had it locked because I just pressed it, right? Oh, shoot. I think we should be able to make the right on red, of course, as long as we clear these signs. Clear the light. We clear everything. All right. Any um, truck drivers in here, man? Let me know. I actually got my boy that drive a truck, too, man. Pretty cool, dude. Come on. And also, while we bringing back the American Truck Simulator, guys, I'm working on the EMS and the firefighters because you guys have been asking for that too. So that's a couple. That's another one that should be coming out soon. Let me see. How long do we have to go with this place? Let me turn this on. No. Yo. When I say to these, oh my god. Thank God there was nobody on the side of me. Yeah, this is what this is what I was trying to turn on. All right, two hours, so two hundred and three. Damn, we got a long way, man. All right, it is what it is. I usually don't keep this um map on. I'll just use the one from the actual truck. You see, once I have, I mean, once I have, um, once I've been playing it for a minute. I get a little handle of it. Now this is scary because I don't want to cut nobody right right now. But if you're driving that slow, my saying, damn, this is what they always say: do not cut somebody when you're about to turn like this. Okay, we got the first one. You know that was straight up illegal, right? But this is American. I was about to say this is GTA. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing it over here. 
Is that a straight line? No. We're going to come up to a straight line soon. Now, what is the longest um, you guys ever like? Um, what is the longest you guys stay in a car or at least drive cross country or something like that? Like, have you guys done anything like that? Or at least with your parents? Depends on who I'm talking to right now. We're going to make this left turn. So um, talking about story time, me and a couple of friends, we had a putt putt. We had a putt putt. And guess what? We decided to drive to California. Yes, we did. From New York to California. It took us a couple of days, but it was a great trip. It was a great trip. And then we we flew back. I actually did that twice. And I did that with my old boss where I had to drive to Georgia. Me, my boy Juan, and my my boss. We actually drove all the way to Atlanta. And then um I guess you know what? His daughter was getting talking about that. This car is destroyed by now. Um his daughter was about what 16, 17, getting her first car. And we had to drive the car from New York, um, from actually from New Jersey all the way down to Georgia. I mean, it's not a really long trip if you have somebody with you. But if you're trying to do this yourself, which I'm going to try to do this soon because I wanted to take the GTR without putting it in a trailer. But you know what? It is what it is. We'll see. But we drove from, I mean, we left like late at night and then we were there by like the, the next morning. Cause I didn't, I didn't stop at all. I didn't stop because it was like, yo, do you guys want to stop so we could go to a hotel? Whoa, okay. That was my fault. I'm following too close too. But like, this is a straight line. We will definitely see. Damn. All right. This truck is definitely moving. All right. Good. Thought I'm about to cut him. He moves now. But don't you hate that in traffic, guys? When you about to cut somebody, right? And they decide to speed up. They just speed up just because, just not to let you pass. Like that thing began on my nerve, man. But yeah, back to it, because I know some of you guys be getting mad at me when I cut off. Um, when I at least I, when I didn't finish my story time, of course. Um, we got a chance to drive her, um, the car all the way down to Georgia. She was happy. We um, everything was good. Then we caught a flight back to um, New York. But the thing is, after I think it was after a year, she totaled the car. She totaled the car. I was I was like, wow, well, I will be pissed. I'll be pissed if I just bought my daughter. You know, it was not a brand new car. It was a used car. But my daughter decided to let her friend use the car and they totaled the car that the, the brand not really brand new, but you know, still still it was a brand new car to her. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. It was a brand new car to her. She should have treated special, not let your friend drive, drive your car. Do you, any of you guys let your drink? I mean, let your drink, let your friend drive your car. I don't know. Sometimes it could be, it, could, it can actually be risky, man. And it, I've seen that destroy, destroy friendship. I've been there. I've been there at least a couple times, of course. But can you guys believe like one of my first official accident was um, I guess I was working at Enterprise. No, you know what? That was one accident. That was actually my second. So I was working at Enterprise, had a good day, long day. Of course, I'm heading home. Um, it was right there, but um, what you call it on Flatbush right there before Eastern Parkway. I know some of you guys might know exactly where that is, too. It's like a couple blocks before Eastern Parkway, yeah, of course, around empires or something like that. It's like around the Jewish area. But um, I was just crossing the intersection. I just got the green light. And for some reason, this old man just came out of nowhere and bam, hit the back of my car, hit the back. I thought I was going to spin out of control, but I managed. That's why they always say if you're a driver, you're just a driver. So while it was going for the spin, I went for the other way. So I was able to manage and control the car so I won't hit nobody else because that's uh, that's always my thing, of course. But I got out the car, you know, I stopped, pull over. He pulled over too. He was there with his wife, of course, our customer expecting. Very soon. Um, OK, I'm, I'm hurrying up. Damn. I didn't even slow down. Did I? Yes, I did stop a couple times. 
But yeah, guys. Um, so we stop so we can exchange exchange information. But the way he sound like, yo, it's your fault. I'm like, you hit me. You saw me. It was my green light. Why didn't you slow down? Or at least let me pass. Then you could have just, you know, keep going because you you was coming from the opposite lane anyway. Because you know, around those block man, it'd be so much traffic. It's always crazy over there. But you guys let me know, man. Till today, that thing was on my record. When I say my insurance went up, insurance dropped me over that. Man, I was so pissed. Insurance dropped me, so I was forced to like find a new insurance. When by the time me and the old man talk, it was straight up. Oh man, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Then I was, I, you know, I had to explain to him what's going on, this and that. They didn't need no paramedic because everybody was okay. They van just had a little dent, so they were okay. I was okay. I mean, they punched in my back door from the driver's side. Of course, I was okay, but. I don't know. For some reason, he lied to the insurance company. He said, "Oh, I was just driving reckless. I almost hit him. He had to avoid me. This and like he made up a whole story. I'm sure it's probably his wife that made up this story because the old man was pretty cool, man. The old man was pretty cool, and I don't know. Wh I don't know what happened. Yo, for some reason, Siri just picked up by itself now. So guys, I just got the. You know, I'll get back to that in a minute. But yeah, talking about the insurance, right? That was messed up. That's why they always say call the police, man. That's that's one little lesson that I learned from when I did that little exchange. No matter what, if it's minor, minor, maybe you could fix it yourself. But even though the person gave you their phone number, don't believe in that, bro. Don't believe in that. Don't don't go for it. Even if the person say they taking you to the shop, try your best. You know, best judgment. I did my best judgment too, but. Hey, that old man straight up play me, straight up play me because not only he got my insurance um to drop me, my insurance raised up high because I was under twenty five, of course, with two cars, of course, like I had so much to deal with that that old man didn't even know what he did to me, did today. But you know what? I always forgive and forget, move on, move forward. Of course, I um and I you know what? I rather just share that information with you guys. Don't don't. You get into an accident, call the police. Cause trust me, they tell you whatever they want to tell you now just to get out the way, and then trust me, that person that might not even be the person's phone number. <laughs> Yo, I even check at that time too. It was it was actually the old man phone number, but one thing I regret, I didn't call the police. So after that, I never like if I get into an accident, I am calling the police for sure. But right now we're just making it, guys. I can't drive for nothing right now, especially with this. Oh, they. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, did they close up? We made it on time. We made it on time, bro. Now nah, I'm in a hurry. Um. Oh, maybe I could just pocket somewhere for them for the extra. It's not like I need the money, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a hurry right now. We're going to skip to it. All right. That was excellent. We crashed a couple of times, didn't we? Level 56. But anyway, guys, yes. This is gonna have to do it for all throwback Thursday today. I know I probably was talking my ass off like all that, but it is what it is, man. You guys already know how we do, man. But right now I'm just gonna check out over here. Now, if you haven't got American Truck Simulator yet, make sure to do so, man. That is only if you enjoy driving or if you enjoy these type of games, of course. But to get the best experience. Make sure you get you either Logitech or one of those wheels out there. Trust me, you will have the best experience ever. I feel like this is one of the most realistic um, truck driving game that I ever seen out there. Uh, I mean, it is also the same company that create Euro Truck Simulator. I met with these guys before. They are pretty cool, of course, but definitely this is going to be it for me now, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.